Music Law with Paul Sanderson. Paul Sanderson, entertainment lawyer with more than 30 years in private practice serving music industry clients, author of Musicians and the Law in Canada and Music Law Handbook for Canada, instructor at Metalworks Institute and frequent lecturer on legal topics relevant to the music industry. How does one ensure they're being paid royalties from a radio station? SOCAN, Canada's only public performing rights society, regularly monitors radio stations via a computer logging system so that public performance royalties can be paid. In most cases, airplay logging is random and the amount of performing rights income is based on many factors. In any event, you must be a songwriter or a publisher member of SOCAN or performer rights society with which SOCAN is affiliated and your song titles must be registered in order to receive public performing rights revenue. For more information, contact SOCAN.ca. Are nightclubs required to pay royalties for playing copyrighted music? If so, when and how is it monitored? Nightclubs are typically licensed under a blanket license and pay a yearly fee to SOCAN, Canada's only performing rights society, for use of its members' music and other music governed by reciprocal agreements it has entered into throughout the world with other performing rights societies such as ASCAP, BMI, CSAC, GEMMA, JazzRack, in other countries outside of, the, of Canada. SOCAN, not the nightclub, then pays public performer rights royalties based on the fees it collects to its members and affiliates. In addition, in other venues, such as concert venues and other places where music is performed in public, for example in airplanes or football stadiums, SOCAN has jurisdiction and licenses performances of music in public in such venues. Fees are paid to SOCAN for such licenses, and SOCAN pays public performing rights royalty based on such fees. It should be noted that certain criteria must be met to qualify for the right to receive public performing rights royalties by SOCAN generated by live performances of original music in nightclubs and other public venues, and SOCAN must be advised in writing of the performance. For more information, contact SOCAN.ca. Should I send a copy of my lyrics or recordings to a performing rights society? How much does it cost per song? Performing rights societies do not archive copies of lyrics, songs, or recordings. SOCANS is a title-only registration system for music compositions only, not recordings. No deposit of lyrics or music is required or accepted. Keep in mind that one must be either a publisher or writer member of SOCAN in order to register song titles with them. Registration of your song titles with SOCAN should ideally be done prior to release of the recording in which they are embodied or prior to the time when public performance royalties may be earned, for example, from airplay. Members may choose to voluntarily posit one's lyrics, songs, or recordings thereof with the Songwriters Association of Canada with the requisite fee being paid as proof of copyright ownership. See songwriters.ca for more detail. The Library and Archives Canada does require a deposit of published sound recordings, sheet music, videos, and other designated materials as part of its comprehensive collection of Canadian music. For further information, contact deposit at lac-bac.gc.ca. How much money will I make when my song is played on the radio? It is difficult to give an exact figure as to the amount of revenue is contingent upon several relevant variables such as where your music is being played, how often, the length of your song, how much of the song you wrote, how much of the publishing rights in and to the song you have retained. Radio stations are required to pay a fee to the Performing Rights Society, SOCAN in Canada, which in turn monitors the station's airplay and administers payments to the appropriate parties that is, songwriters and publishers, based on the above variables. For more information, contact SOCAN.ca. The proceeding is general advice only, and skilled legal and accounting advice should be sought in any specific situation. For more information, consult SandersonLaw.ca.